So now coming to car design, we have exterior and interior design. So entire car design is split into three main aspects being exterior design, interior design and color and trim design. Design not just only focuses on the isolated outer shape of the automobile part but concentrates on the combination of form and function starting from the vehicle package the aesthetics value will need to correspond to ergonomic functionality and utility features as well. Each design is taken care by the different team members specialized in their line of work. Let's have a look at the team as per design, exterior design, the team responsible for the exterior of which the vehicle will be developing or they will be developing the shape, proportions and details of the vehicle. Exterior design is first done by a series of sketches and digital drawings. Afterwards, more detailed drawings are executed and approved to push further ahead in the process. Second is interior design. The team responsible for the vehicle's interior develops the shape, proportions, placement and surfaces of the instrument panel, seat, door trim panel, pillars, headliners, trims and more. Here the emphasis on the ergonomics and the comfort of the passengers. The procedure here is the same as with the exterior design. Now color and trim designer. The team here is responsible for the research, design and development of all interior and exterior colors and materials used on a vehicle. This all includes all paints, plastics, fabrics, carpet, liners and more. All are carefully combined to give the vehicle a unique interior environment experience. Color and trim designers plays a vital role in the process and as mentioned they do have another work to take care of. So we are not too much focused on these designers. After this let's understand exterior proportions. There are two ways through which car proportions can be understood. First is to directly start with wheels and play and arrange them so the desired proportion of the vehicle that you want to sketch is achieved. This is more of a professional way. And second, you can go on and start making foundational boxes as we have practiced in perspective views in which we can decide the elements, the overall shape and size of our desired vehicle. Let's have a look on how we can use these tools for a better proportion vehicle. We will be sketching car side view proportion boxes for sedan, SUVs, sports car, compact cars and trucks. So moving to tutorial, so now in this one our job is to start with exterior proportions. If you remember I told you to pay attention when you are actually making those body styles because I told you whenever you change a certain proportions uh, what you do is uh, you are playing with all the sizes and you are creating all the segments. So right now as we have seen in the presentation we have actually two methods. First one is to create by using foundational boxes and second is the use of wheels. Firstly, I'll cover the use of wheels as uh, for wheels you actually require you know, a lot of experience. Uh, once you reach up to that experience level only then and then you, know, you can start playing with wheels. So you don't actually have to create any boxes or to create the overall exterior proportion of any car of any car because once you are familiar with the sizes only then and then you actually have to you know uh, start with wheels or for beginners again for you you actually have to start practicing with 
foundational boxes so now what we want is we'll start with wheels so firstly we know as i have mentioned we'll cover all the segments so we have covered hatchback as well we have covered sedan as well uh, in those basic boxes so right now i want to create not in that sense the dot basic sense but right now i'll tell you how to actually draw okay so firstly with wheels so i'll mention with wheels first okay this is our ground line so i've already mentioned we have our front wheel right we have a dimension or of three wheels or three and a half wheels in between of our vehicle correct so this is how we make the overall length then after this again for height for hood height for roof height we again take examples by using the same wheels we put it like this same goes for our height so depending on all these segments which are there you make things like this then after that you take let's say one and half or half of the half so 1.25 being again uh, if you see the difference so uh, for this i'll use some color pencil so we can actually differentiate what we are creating right so let's say ground is same for every single car we are drawing correct now see the proportions changing okay this is 1.25 right now let's see another example of maybe a hatchback see we we are just following the same rules same everything but we want to play with different proportions and different sizes right so we'll start size is same again we move on our height a bit okay so which means our overall this area is increasing so maybe a station wagon an suv anything that you like now again you can see the difference right now again to move on to some different part maybe more close to wheel sports being close to ground right i guess you can see all the difference so we covered sports normal sedan if we want to move let's say move overboard okay same proportion everything but just like this right we make a hatchback so that way by using all the elements in design you go and you create by using wheels so you take proportions for heights as well as for hood size for back size and things like that so this is how you actually go on and create so once you reach up to that level once you have this experience of how much size of wheel will be how much you have to move how much will be the height and things so you don't actually have to go again and again for making the same thing so for another example if i want to create i'll go just like this i know how much i want okay 
Now I'll show you how to make it with foundational box. Okay, so foundational box is nothing. The entire theory actually is based on this bottom box as you were talking. Um, the rectangle, the rectangle, and the top box being uh, the triangle along with square and the other triangle. So the top part. So this being the first, this being the second. So we have. Our foundational box at the bottom, and on top of it, we have our second foundational box. So this is how, just just like what we covered previously. So just this this is the way you create things with foundational boxes, right? So now, as we know, how to actually create. now we move on and we'll see the differences now if we'll change the overall proportions as we have talked about previously what actually happens when we do that uh, so now let's say we are making a sedan okay so for sedan you make a wheel or just a normal center i used accordingly because i know it will be same okay so i'm making a sedan so for sedan i'll be using again 1.25 something okay right and for top box let's say i want to make a family car in which i require a lot of boot space so my second box will be somewhere in the middle so let's say i make this box i divide it at the center then from this center i make a equidistant box right so now if i am going to design my car inside this my car looks more like a family car which we see day to day on daily roads now if we tweak the proportion or change things few look how the proportions are changing okay actually placement in that matter plays a lot of role we made same box just a bit elongated okay then dividing it again in the middle and not placing this particular thing at the center we take it a bit far bit back and a bit shorter right so now if i again want to draw my car inside this one can you see the difference between two in top one we have a car which is again a normal day to day vehicle day to day sedan at bottom we are it can be a day to day sedan for some people but again if i want to compare this particular proportion to this one if i'll say this is hyundai varna then this is again an elongated car which can be 3 series a c class e class s class or things like car like that maybe from audi right so you want to create see these are the only techniques that how you create cars so you put features you do shading and stuff so after this you can see the overall outline of the car right if i'm not wrong it is i guess this is way more clear to you how you use the same concept it doesn't matter what you are creating everything starts from this particular box so now if i want to create let's say this is an suv right so 
So for SUV, firstly our ground clearance will be more that you have to take care of. Okay. So our ground clearance is more. This is our ground line. Our bigger wheels. Now shorter front because I don't have paper left. So shorter front overhang. Right. Then using the same and it end it. So again if I want to compare this SUV so what is happening my distance of this particular block my foundation one block compared to this one is taller in length right and my second foundational box is also a bit taller and back which provides me this feeling now again if I want to be artistic I'm just showing you because right now we are totally and totally focusing on the aspect of proportions right so this is how things change and your design now compare just just see just see okay the artistic effects over here it can be used right now if I want to sketch or start designing I can start with this one this is a sketch itself a complete sketch in which few lines are there which makes you know some ground possible right so we saw how proportion changes okay now again similar example for an SUV uh, okay let's say I want a full fledged SUV uh, this was this is a bit of a compact one okay our distance between ground clearance will be more so these are the basic properties uh, you can say of for all the segments so my bigger block right as I have mentioned then for top box uh, we make a block and we take totally at the back like the height will be increased and totally at the back what we have covered over here so right now if I want to design I'll start right without thinking about anything taking it making the shapes and now again for design same design same design I'll I'll not do because I know like once you'll see things you'll start making and I don't want you to focus on these right now okay so again now you can easily see comparatively this looks more heavy and have feeling compared to this radical design this looks bulky compared to this this shows motion same co thing goes for this one so this is how you start with uh, the proportion so these are the things how you play with all the foundational boxes I guess you are clear on the thought like how we start this is an SUV right here right so we know the overall proportions correct 